Sean, well, you came over here. We've got a boot on the foot. We've got an air cast or something wrapped up on the wrist and arm. Physically, how are you feeling? I feel decent. This is a little more excessive than it needs to be, but it's, you know, a little sore. Foot's a little sore. You know, a little beat up, but can't complain. When you prepared for this rematch with Cheeto Vera, did you expect it to be such a, a hard-fought five-round battle? 100%. I, I knew coming into this fight it was going to be a war. I mean, I say every fight's going to be a war. Usually... You know, I'm back of my head, I'm going to knock this dude out. But this fight, I really, truly thought this was going to be a war. What can you say about the durability of Cheeto? Because there was, at one point, a knee that you threw, along with some other strikes, that seemed like it would put any other person on the canvas. Yeah, I mean, I threw a knee up the middle, and I heard it. It was disgusting, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then I think at the end of the fifth, or in the fifth, landed another gnarly shot. But dude's is literally as tough as it, as tough as it gets. I want to talk about your performance. You'll hear back on the commentary when you watch the fight that Daniel Cormier, John Anik, and Joe Rogan said this is probably the best that you have ever looked. With every outing, Sean, you continue to evolve. For you, did you feel like it was your best performance to date? I mean, I didn't go out there and get the finish like I wanted to. So, you know, there seems I'm a little disappointed in that sense. Maybe I'll go back and watch it and really be able to appreciate it. But, you know, not getting them out of there really kind of, it sucks. I want, to, I want to put people's lights out, and I didn't do that. Can you be happy about it? You just defended your title. You got revenge here. But it seems like you're so down. That was such a gorgeous performance, Sean. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't put his lights out. I, I would have felt a lot better putting his lights out. You know, I, I think there was a 50-44 or some, something in there. But mm -hmm. still, you know, it, this, it just doesn't feel the same. Tell me about your footwork and the body work that you put in as well on Cheeto. How important were they in terms of the lead-up to this fight and your focus? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought... My last two fights, I thought we had really, really good game plans. Tim and I had um, had perfect game plans coming in. You know, attack the body, really hurt him to the body. And uh, the, the, the head would open up a bit because he's so hard to hit. Um, but I was able to land some really, really clean shots. How did you continue to keep the focus, especially going into that fifth round? There was still danger abound. He was throwing every second of that fight. How did you make sure that you were stepping out of that? I, yeah, I was just trying to stay focused, stay on, stay on my footwork, and and land the shots, and not, you know, the dudes from Ecuador, tough as a fuck. I mean, you, you don't you don't get any tougher than that. So, I was able to go out there and just do what I needed to do and get the job done. You certainly did. You have your first title defense, and Sean, you also looked great for all 25 in terms of cardio and preparation, especially from maybe previous fights in your UFC to career to where you are now. What made you have a gas tank that could go so far now? hard work I've been doing you know I've been doing this since I was 16 years old and I've really dedicated my entire life to this sport you know it doesn't always look like it on the on the outside but I've dedicated my entire life to this sport and uh, you know it just comes down to hard work the dedication is paying off you called out Ilya Taporia why that call out who do you think they could give you next at bantamweight if it is at 135 I just you know I was in the moment I didn't know what was going to happen and uh you know, Mirab's there too, Elia's there, big fights are, are there for me. So, you know, right now, I don't care to even think about a fight. I, I want to get ho go home, heal up, get healthy, and, and then get back to work. Will you allow yourself to celebrate? Because I know after you won the title, you told me that you had a quiet moment to yourself. Is that what this night is going to look like as well? Uh, you don't go to sleep in Miami. <laughs> but in... in uh, Boston, you know, everything was closed. So, you know, I got to go out, celebrate, take the family out, take the friends out. You know, I'm not going to probably go and do anything too crazy. I'm pretty sore, but, you know, I got a jet on the way home, so I'll be able to stay out a little later. All right, champ stuff. All right, congratulations, Sean. Eight absolute beautiful performance out there.